Hello guys, how are you? Good afternoon, right? So I hope everything is okay with you. You are fine, you're happy, which is the most important thing, right? Um, today, guys, January 13th. Hello, 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 hello. So if you couldn't be with us today in the class, don't worry. I have the video here for you with the activities we did during the class, right? So let's begin. Today, January 13th, we started out with the language section, right? So go there, go to the grammar, which is grammar, right? But now the new name is language. The yellow section, go there. And we will be working on page number 73, right? So go there, go to language, page 73. And we are going to start working in this thing, right? Well, actually, continue working. Remember that yesterday you finished this, right? You finished antonyms and synonyms. Remember antonyms? Well, antonyms are words that have the opposite meaning. But what about synonyms? Synonyms are words that have the same or a similar meaning, right? So remember antonyms, opposite. Big, small, that is antonym, right? Because they are opposite. Synonyms, big, huge. So we have the examples, the ones that I gave you, right? Big and small are antonyms. Big and huge are synonyms, right? So now we're going to continue on page 73 now that you remembered, right? Antonyms and synonyms. Help me reading this, please read it. Okay, so we use antonyms, thank you, to contrast two ideas, right? So look at this. Uh, my sister is kind, but my brother is rude. So kind is like being bueno, right? My sister is kind, mi hermana es buena, right? With the people, but my brother is rude, right? So he is like angry and not saying hello nor things, right? So Kind and rude are antonyms, right? So antonyms help you contrast ideas, right? So look at this. Now you are going to do here what? Read the instructions. Okay, so you're going to fill in the blanks with an antonym for this word, right? So how is that, teacher? Um, let's do number one together. I am never late because I always, yes, you were right, always. I am never late because I always leave on time. So always is the opposite of never, right? So that's why I use always here. So always is the opposite, right? So you are going to write the opposite for these words. The ones that are black, right? Bold. Las que están en, en negritas más marcadas. Vas a escribir su antónimo aquí. I am never late because I always leave on time, right? So you are going to do that. Now, um, let's continue here. On the next activity, it says read the instructions. Good. So you are going to circle the synonym for these quick what is the synonym slow fast or quiet what do you think is the synonym remember synonym they have the same meaning right so you are going to read this and select a b or c right this is going to be your your activity for today right now um well, we are we finished this. Write a synonym and an antonym for each word, right? So you are going to write here a synonym for distant. What is a synonym for distant? Well, I can give you one example. Far, right? It is the same thing. Far, lejos, distance, distante. But what is an antonym? Well, the antonym of far will be near, right? So this is this is it right so look at this distant near uh distant far synonyms antonyms right so you're going to write them here 
Oops, I don't know what happened. There you go. Now, let's continue then. And after here, yes, after here. Oops, I'm sorry. I don't like when it happens, things like this. After here, we went to vocabulary. Yes, sir, go to vocabulary section. And we worked on pages five and six, please. Go to vocabulary, pages five and six. So vocabulary lesson number one. Yes, sir. Pages five and six. So uh, five and six, uh, we did dictation, right? So we had dictation. Um, but yes, we are going to have dictation. So I would like you to get a pen not a pencil, remember, you need to use pen, right? So I will dictate you the words, okay? But try not to look at the words, right? I don't know if you know what I mean. So let's go here. Um, ready, set, go. Word number one, diagnosed, diagnosed. Word number two, lively, lively. Word number three, influence, influence. Word number four, president, the president. Word number five, mourned, mourned. Word number six, Fanaticism. Word number six, fanaticism. Fanaticism. Word number seven, accomplish. 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 Word number eight, or the next one, right? Outspoken. Outspoken. Right? The next one, passionate, passionate, passionate. Next word, improve, improve. The next one, politician, politician. The next one, future, future. The next word, politics, politics. The next one, transformed, transformed. The next one, abandoned, abandoned. The next one, extraordinary. Extraordinary. The next one, controversial. Controversial. And the last one, complicated. Complicated. There you go, guys. So now you have you have this, you have dictation, right? Send me your answers. Then we continued with the next page, number six. You can do it, yes. If you need, uh, you can rewind the video, right? So you can hear dictation again. Now, you can do it. The words below are missing their vowels, filling the missing letters. So you are going to complete these words, right? These are words from our vocabulary section, right? Like this. You are going to find them here. So complete them. What are the missing vowels? Remember, vowels A, E, I, O, U, right? Those are vowels. Now we finish with this activity. Let's add up your words. Vowels are worth two points and consonants are worth one point. Count the vowels and consonants 
and see how much each word is worth. Then put a star next to the word that, it, that is worth the most. The first one is done for you. Uh, so here, vowels are two points and consonants are one point, right? So look at here. Remember, vowels, two points. Vowels, A, E, I, O, U. And consonants, P, M, R, Q, K, right? But they are only one point. Vowels are two points, right? So future has one, two, three vowels. So it has three vowels. And they are two, so three times two, you have six. Consonants, they are only one point. So it has one, two, three consonants. That's why they write three here, right? And then you add it up. Six plus three equals nine, right? So you are going to do the same thing here. Recuerda que las vocales valen dos puntos y las consonantes valen uno. So please do it. And this is what we did here in the vocabulary section, guys. Yes, sir. Uh, let me go back to the menu. Yes, sir. You are here. All right. So this is what we did here, guys, in this, in this um, English section, right? So thank you for coming and watching the video. Hope to see you again soon. Have a great day. And bye-bye.